wow this is really interesting that is it when you are doing things or you are involved in something that is genuine people with good mind they know unless those who are economical with the truth and those who hate good things well this is coming out from four local governments area that makes up a very north their little contribution to support eastern security network so that they will not go hungry while defending us other zones are also doing their own too massive thanks to high pop ebony state and to our leader mazin namde kano nigerians living in ebony state have reportedly donated food items comprising bags of rice gallons of oil and two bags of yams in support of the newly formed eastern security network this much was relieved revealed on facebook by ada biafra a member of the indigenous people of biafra according to the pictures seen on her facebook page more than 30 bags of rice gallons of oil and numerous tubers of yam were seen in a room that looked like a warehouse Recall that the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdekano, recently launched the Eastern Security Network to combat terror and criminals in the old eastern region. According to him, the security outfit is modeled after Amoteku in the southwest and the Mietiala Vigilante Group in the north. Many prominent Igbo leaders, notably the eastern governors, have voiced out against the newly formed Eastern Security Network. According to them, the newly formed security outfit is not backed by the law of the land. Hence, the outfit is illegal. However, the Yoruba sociocultural group Afeni Ferry has since thrown its weight behind the newly formed Eastern Security. According to Afeni Ferry, the newly formed security outfit will help rid the East of all criminal elements and restore normalcy in the area. Now, that, like I said from the beginning, if you are in bad, you are doing good things and people know. And that's why these politicians, I don't even know what their problems are because Nigerians are not even demanding too much. Let us even have it. Let us be able to have a decent environment, a decent life. That's what we are talking about. Do you know that in this country, if the, the so-called leaders, if they do the right thing, we will be making a whole hell of money. In as much people are going to be seeing what you are doing, they can see it, see it they can feel it. Not not all these uh, audio promises, not audio development, things that you say you are you are you are creating whatever you are creating for the benefit of the people at the end of the day, is there is, is just only 0.1%. And those is 0.1 percent. By the time you look at all of those people who are benefiting from that uh, tiny percentage, they are going to be their cronies, their party the lawyer uh, faithful party I'll be lawyer people those are the people that you see that they are enjoying those things they'll just pick people at random and begin to announce that they have done it and they have done this they have done that and you'll be surprised even as a, a citizen that when did they do all of this is before you know it it is man no man nigerians do not need much things just make life decent for people and once you are doing the right thing people can feel it and can see it they will sing your praises to high heavens it doesn't take much but because of greed because of wickedness they don't want to do anything you could see even during the answers, you see how people trooped out and began to help people who, you know, they know that this is a genuine cause. This is a, it's a it's something that is going to help everybody. At the end of the day, those answers, answers, protesters, who were they even? Yes, who were they fighting for? They were still fighting for the same policemen. And all of a sudden, they turned everything upside down. And for the fact that this uh, group, this, uh, uh, this security outfit that has been launched, people can see it that it's a genuine one. The so-called governors, they were just playing to the gallery. They were playing to the gallery. You can imagine close to two years. Umar Hida told us that uh, he had the plan. He had all the things to, you know, the the plans to form the security outfit. Not knowing that this guy was just deceiving everybody. That uh, the Southwest governors, they stole the idea from you. Now you, you have the idea. Do it. Two years down the line, he can't do anything. Or a year going to two years down the line, he can't do anything. And it's coming out to tell us that uh, the South is, is the safest place. I don't know who they are talking to. The same people that you think that you are leading, that you are fighting for. They cannot see. They can't see it. It's all about lies, deceiving people. And you expect people to sing your praises. Just like I said before, they choose some few individuals and begin to and give them little things. And those ones will not go out and begin to say, oh, you just decided not to see the good things. But see, people are complaining day in, day out. It is the same woman that told us now that he wants to be arresting people. 
and you want to give maximum security to this same s man nobody hates anybody but you cannot be be a thorn of my flesh and you expect me to be happy to be politically correct with you it's not going to work like that and i've said it times without number everybody wants peace this so um eastern security you think it is an easy thing a lot of people who have volunteered themselves do you think it is what that is what they bargain for when you don't have government that can that can that can that can protect you all all the time they always come out to tell you something that is not even close to reality but you can see how people are coming out to say we want to support you we can see what you are doing they are not nobody bribed them they are still going to be using their money because people are going to be staying inside bushes and you are going to be sleeping because they have conscience because they are sensitive to the work that these people are going to be doing because it's not an easy thing and we just pray that god continue to keep them because it is not an easy thing for you to say you want to go and join them you know no 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 be my my oh no be my my and some people are laying their lives for others and the people who are collecting a uh, uh, bogus salaries jumbo allowances they are not even doing anything they are not doing anything no the country that we are now is survival of the fittest you fend for yourself you provide everything for yourself people are not providing security for themselves and go and check these are the same people that collect uh, security votes who does that you could if it's not what they collect and you'll be wondering how do they spend this money very unfortunate well a great thanks to uh um a so-called a uh, um gallant uh, soldiers who have dedicated themselves to do the right thing if not are we going to be waiting for all this a uh, this so-called a uh, uh, governors let the eastern state formulate laws to back it up <laughs> well a great thanks to our governor engineer who might and our politicians in Ebony for this package because I know they are aware and in support of this welcome development. Like seriously, <laughs> guys, talk less and listen more. This is a game of a uh, intelligence. So the question is: any governor from Southeast oppressing the Eastern Security Network should be condemned as an Igbo, as an Igbo man. Why una they expose what is supposed to be secret? Within una safe now na go see use in a hand cause smoke for the fire where una never fetch. Well, well anybody who is against this uh definitely the person is not praying for good things for himself. Shame to you, the so called Igbo governors. If they reject ESN, which one do they want to come up with? Or do they want South East to be defenseless as the federal security has failed? Now they are saying there is no backup with their law. For how many for how many years you bring you you have the right you have the all the whatever the legal uh, backing that you are supposed to do but you are not doing it so who is now who is not genuine who is not genuine you say you have all it takes but you have been there what has been disturbing you you people are playing politics with everything playing politics with everything and you expect people to be quiet so guys I leave your comment below and let's have your take on this thank you.